Hey everybody, Omar Kazarski, Creative Director of Bauer Web Solutions here. Um, right now I'm going to show you a quick video of how to use a screen sharing service known as Makogo. Uh, so we can, uh, for support purposes for our clients, if we, uh, in an emergency or what uh, have you, need to look at your screen. So in this particular uh, video, I am going to show you how you would set it up if you were using a PC uh, at your location. So the first thing you would do is, here I am on my PC, I'll go to my Start menu and uh, launch my browser. In this case, I'll use Internet Explorer. You can use whatever browser you prefer. And in the address bar, of course, we are going to I'll just zoom in here so you can see. Go to our website address, which is bowerwebsolutions.com, www.bowerwebsolutions.com, and that brings us to our home page. On the top of every page of our site, you'll see two tabs here. In the top right-hand corner of the page, a gray tab that says client login and a blue tab that says toolbox. Click on toolbox that will expand it. In some browsers this blue tab might already be extended. So once again since uh, for this exercise if you're on a PC in this uh, first column here on the left within the blue tab where it says share move your mouse over the area that says PC share PC and click on that. Then brings you to another screen for the Makogo session login and we will talk you through this at the at the time here. Again this video is just to familiarize yourself with the steps. Once you're at this step uh, a Bauer Web Solutions uh, representative will give you the session ID name. So the session ID will be um, a three-part number, each consisting of three numbers with uh, a, a hyphen between each. So in this particular case, I will play also play the role of the support representative and say, okay, please enter the session ID number of 679. And you notice how it already puts in the hyphen automatically. The next series of numbers would be 583 and then another hyphen which is already there and then 690 and then you would put in your name and I'll just pretend that I am John Smith for this exercise and the connection method here you'll see we, you, I would choose connection program and hit join session okay you will then be presented with a dialog box. You want to run this file because it's going to run a small little program on your system. Go ahead and say run. It's going to first download that little program onto your system. And then you'll be brought with another screen saying, all right, you just downloaded this software called Viewer.exe by Beam Your Screen and we're going to run that. So first screen you hit run, second screen you hit run. All right. So you'll now notice that this little Makogo icon is now running in the bottom right of your screen within your taskbar. It's joining session. So what I'm going to do is just to uh, you can see make it easier I'm going to go here to the bottom of my screen to uh, these two instances of the browser that are running remember this was the original browser so I'll close that and then I'll also close this browser as well just so you can see that here's the Makogo program and what you're looking at here is the desktop of my screen. So you can see here how I'm moving things around, I'm opening up windows, and 
you can see everything that's going on on my screen. Um, what I would do in a situation like this, if I needed or one of our representatives needed uh, remote control access of your machine, I would ask you to be the presenter and on your screen you would see a dialog box saying you have asked to become the presenter and allow for remote control. Do you accept? You would say yes. Okay. So now what happens is we would see your screen session and we would be able to um, control your screen. You would just need to do one last thing on your screen here where it says control you are going to relinquish control of your device to the representative that you're in this Makogo session with. In this case that would be me. So now on my system remotely I am actually remote controlling the desktop. Okay? And then I can, when the session is over, relinquish control back to you. So once the session is done, you would just simply close Makogo by clicking the little X in the top right hand corner, present it with a dialog box, or you want to quit the session, you say yes. Okay? And you can create your own account if you want. It's free, but I would just simply just close this this dialog box here with the little X in the top right hand corner and there you go you'll also notice that it is now the Makogo has also disappeared from your taskbar in the bottom right of your screen alright so that's it so that's how you would connect with Makogo using a PC